So Jeff, what are your first uh, thoughts now that we're on the train? It's pretty cool. Yeah. They took our tickets. We don't have them back. You're clearly more worried about that than I. They are on this train. We're on the train. I have my passport and my wallet. Um, now we're leaving. This is pretty exciting. I'm sad that I didn't get to see them put on the new engine because I want to know what the engine is. But that's my problem. Can we're you literally about to leave. We're leaving. I thought it was like, people say this is a land cruise. I literally felt like we were a ship going through because the marshes just went on forever. And it was just water and then the railway line. <laughs> was this region what you expected? No, not by a lot. I mean, this is like, I don't know what I expected, but this wasn't it, you know? Jeff, can you tell us a bit about um, the process of entering Russia? It took a long time. Basically, 10 hours. Russia, the gauge of the rails is wider. It's five feet as opposed to four feet, eight and a half inches. That was reinforced by the kind of later desires of uh, certain political elements in Russia to kind of remain separate from the West. It's beautiful for countless reasons. It's dramatic, you know. That, that's really what it what it is. Um, yeah, I just enjoyed it because it was beautiful. is definitely like clearly built in the Soviet era like everyone's like has their doors open and talking in Russian like in the aisle way there's a samovar in every car so maybe our first one was renovated um so it's like really created that experience of riding a Russian railway that is different than any other railway Are there any aspects of the Trans-Siberian Railway which um, being on this trip and actually seeing it first hand has really like highlighted in terms of... Um, Just the vastness. You can really get into some regions of the world that 
not just Americans, but like, or foreigners, but like just people who've never been to, not even Russians, and just start exploring these, uh, these out of the way places. I think the strength of Ekaterinburg was definitely the architecture and it seemed to be a booming place. It would be interesting to explore Ekaterinburg more um, because there's just so much to discover here, so much you're not taught, so much that you can't get in reading history books. Without the Trans-Siberian, there is no Russia. It's that simple. Economically, militarily, culturally, the significance is massive. These cities and towns could not have existed. These people could not have really survived without it. Nothing's more epic than this. I mean, you don't have to be a train enthusiast to appreciate this. Like, you just have to love adventure and, and love grandeur and, and love everything that is beautiful and, and massive and, and really just epic. I mean, if you, if you appreciate life, this is a journey for you.